Hey everybody, what's up? In this video, we are going to talk about Python scripts, okay? So, in order to, you know, run Python scripts on your system, you have to have Python installed on your system, all right? So, for that, what we would do, we would install uh, Python first, okay? So, we'll write here, so first of all, we, we will update, okay? And then we will install. So we'll update our repository once it is updated then we are going to install python in our system so what we would do would write here sudo apt get install python so this is the command python 3 we hit enter and you can see that i already have the python 3 version the newest version installed on my system for ubuntu 18.04 ls and uh, when you would do it would take a little bit, you know longer because it would be downloading the Python 3 files and directories and folders and then it would be basically Installing it on your system. All right, so once you have done that There are basically two ways to run Python scripts. So now after installation you are able to run Python scripts on your system so there are basically two ways using which you can run you know python scripts on your system the number one way is actually using the terminal so you write here python 3 and it will make this terminal your python editor okay so you can you know go ahead and you can write here print you can start coding and print hello world so if you hit enter you can see that um, this is the output hello world that you have got so you can also y is equal to one x equals 2 and then you can basically print them or you can create another variable z equals x plus y and then you can basically print z or z so you hit enter and you can see that you have got the result as 3 okay um, but here you would have to write all the code almost in one line so make sure that if you have you know larger scripts or you know um, you have code which is like really crucial and you want to save it and you don't want to lose it so for that you have to create a separate python script okay so how would you do that so let me just go back here you can see that here we have all these like text files and all the extra files let me just you know clear all of them okay okay i have deleted all of them so now you can see here is only uh, one python file okay so what i'm gonna do uh that i am going to create a text file here let me go ahead and figure out text file all right and i can literally start coding here um you know in python so uh, before coding what i can do i can save it you can even do that after coding okay so I write here python file or python script dot py okay so if I do that I, I save it so it would become a python script so if I print here print like hello world and if I save it so it changes color uh, so you are going to open up the terminal and once you have opened up your terminal here uh, you are simply going to ls you can see here we have uh, the python files here python script.py and what we can do is that we can write here um, python and then essentially the file name directly which is python script.py and if we hit enter you can see that it has printed out hello world so that was basically the script of python so if we want to write longer scri scripts we can also write lo longer scripts here we can write here x is equal to one y is equal to two z is equal to let's say four and c equals to then we have a equals to x plus y plus z and then we want to print like you know z or a and we want to print it like 
three or four times we can also use you know for loop here but you know uh, i'll leave that to you this is just a basic representation that how you can work with python scripts in here so here uh, if we save it okay it is saved hopefully so now if i go again and if i try to run python script again python script dot py so you can see it has printed out the output like four times because we have we have written the print statement four times all right so i hope you have got the point this is how you basically install python in your system and this is how you basically run the python scripts you can also run the python scripts in you know python code in your terminal but i would recommend you to create a separate script because uh, obviously your code would be important and you would like to save it all right so i hope you have enjoyed today's video you have learned some something new uh, this is linux in training course and i will see you in the next video